Good morning and welcome back to the Tour of Britain. My name's Lawrence Carpenter and today is the sixth stage, which is the time trial day. Let's go and catch up with another of the British Conti teams on this race. This time, Canyon DHB Vlorhomes. Tour of Britain home race. How many times have you been at this event? Uh, for me, four times with this team, it's the third time. Looking forward to it. Um, it's a nice race. A bit too far up north for me sometimes, but uh, yeah, we uh, we came with some objectives and it's going well. Is it alright for tomorrow? No, Pop Jersey right. was my objective. I felt that to get a because if we haven't had TT bikes all season and they dropped a TT in the last minute, we're not as honed in as we would like. So I decided that I felt around 10 to 15 guys would stay on the same time, roughly and a TT would be the difference between those guys, which so far seems to be what's happening. So therefore, I felt our better objective was let's get in the breaks, let's get on the podium and let's try and get another jersey. We won the sprint jersey last year, so we came with that as an intention. So I set the team up around stage victories, stage top tens and getting this jersey. Yeah, probably not that bad. The only real corner of some issues that first chicane. Yeah, that first chicane though, you've got proper you great for. Uh, we're not going to run radios because of, they're all on the course at the same time, so it'd be stupid. But just give a little hoot, only if he needs to look up, because he's going to look down as much as he can. Donny is, right, okay. Donny. What do you make of today? I've got no idea. Um, going in blind. <laughs> yeah? Don't really know what's going to happen. I haven't ridden this bike before. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'll just get around in as quick as time as possible and doing as little as damage as possible if that's possible. <laughs> awesome, and tell us, how's it feel to wear red? It's good, yeah. Um, happy to still have uh, kept hold of it, so the day seems to be ticking down and I'm still in it, so I think I'm starting to feel a bit more realistic that I can keep it all the way. It's definitely not over yet, like, still like a lot of people that can take it off me and you know, the further we get into the race, people, you know, start thinking like what, what they want to get out of it and stuff and I'm sure it will become a bit more of a target for a lot of guys. Obviously it's a big aim for us as well because Iceberg is a, a sponsor of the team and they sponsor the jersey so we did have that as a target right from the start. Uh, we slid Bo uh, Bostock into the break yesterday to try and put him in the competition as well uh, and that was really to prevent other people entering that competition. But no points today? No points today, so yeah, just a bit of a rest day for him really today. And he goes to the line at two, so it'll be about 15 minutes. Oh yeah, cool. But yeah, obviously Tour Britain's the major aim for the year for us. Um, back to Sun ITV4 uh, for four or five hours a day, great exposure for sponsors, and but for the riders as well, it's a great shop window to you know, try and move up. The kind that we offer all year round is um, it's a good one um, and you know it's in view of preparing them for this race basically so they can be more competitive and, and hopefully get some results that I mean they can move, go off eventually to the next level. Good luck mate. Keep that sign. Yeah I'll try. <laughs> We're gonna stop with the camera to go and take it off. Now nah, put Townsend on, he's gonna follow the second rider. That's really good that isn't it? It's just fallen off already. Next rider onto the uh, start house here. He's got the bike with all of the aerodynamic uh, accoutrement that you can ask for and this is a, uh, a rider on a British <laughs> So normally the guys are going for a quick time today, most of them aren't. We've got, uh, we, we've calculated the time cuts at 30%, uh, so we think it's around five minutes. So we're working to, to, to power on the guys to try and make sure they can do the minimum and be fresher to try and have a good whack at tomorrow's stage whilst make time cut. Uh, for us, with the, with the non-GC aspirations and 
although we've got really good equipment we've not had too much time to prepare for it so it should allow them to have a relatively easy ride without killing themselves Finish time for ride at the side 5 Scott 18 minutes and 14 18.14 Finish time for ride at 1 at 2 5 Townsend 19 minutes 24 that's perfect, Raw. 1924. Follow, follow me around. He's, uh, walk into the Do you mind telling us how that was? Relatively okay, actually. Yeah? Yeah, it's, I mean, every day is normally four hours old. Hi, so like 15 minutes You're is right. bearable. I caught, caught one car in the rider, but he was on his road bike, so uh, <laughs> I probably should have caught him. How are the legs feeling at this point in the race? Um, they were feeling alright up until uh, I got in that break yesterday and today I, I felt horrendous but uh, it should be alright tomorrow to go again. That's another stage done, uh, two more stages to go. We can refocus on the red jersey now, everyone's made a time cut safely which is our primary concern so they can all help Rory over the course of the next two days. It's been a pretty good day, Van der Poel's taken the lead which for us is a good thing. Um, hopefully means that one of Rory's main competitors He's going to be forced to work for PDP, which which actually will help us, I think, in the long run. Um, obviously, we're going to focus on the jersey tomorrow. If that will go smoothly. If it goes really smoothly and we can lock it down tomorrow, then we can look at the last stage to have a bit of fun. So we made it back to the hotel. Slightly less of a transfer tonight, only about half an hour. It was really great to spend the day with Kenny and DHB Bloor Holmes and see exactly how a team like that runs from the inside during a time trial stage. There's only two stages remaining of this year's race, but a big shout out to the team for letting me inside and I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. Thanks for watching guys. Ciao.